start making a thumbnail. Let's see what y'all like. Life of a content creator, y'all better get into it because this is what you got to do. Okay. Hey, you guys. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. We have a video today that I think would be valuable to all my girls who currently are on or have their periods. So, um, if y'all be on YouTube like me, I be looking for stuff, okay? And God will drop things on my timeline or on my algorithm that I didn't even know would help me out. Like, I be looking for another reason and then it gives me, like, another solution to another problem. You feel me? So, I'm just very grateful for God, number one. Number two, I just want to tell you before I get into what it is that I use, experiences to let you know that I understand what it's like to be a girl who struggles with period cramps. And my cases aren't even the most severe. I'm sure other women can relate or comment down your horror stories, your period horror stories below. But So my period cramps started getting bad in about, I wanna say my junior year of high school, I was about 16. And I've had my period, I've had my period since I was 10 years old. So January 31st is the anniversary. I don't know why I remember that, <laughs> but yeah. Um, since I was 10 years old, I'm 23. So we 13 years strong. Mm. Um, <laughs> so I want to say like when it came to school, there were moments where I had to call my parents. Like my stomach pain was unbearable. Like I could not focus in class. So there were a few times where I went home, I believe one time throwing up at school, um, and usually this is how a day, a good day goes in my period. Like my hormones or my emotions, I'm like very happy when I wake up. I eat a good breakfast. Like, oh my gosh, I used to eat Ojas all the time. If y'all live in California, it's a Mexican tea house. Ooh, used to eat that with a little chef special bagel sandwich. Mm, I'd be fine in the morning. Noon hits and my stomach hurts. It's not just what I ate. It's not just what I ate. Literally, it's the cramps. By noon, I start throwing up. Like, everything comes up. I feel like I didn't even get to eat for the day. Like, it just wasn't a good experience. Um, so, yeah. There's that. Then I remember a time where it was the day before prom, my senior prom. I was getting my nails done. And I was smelling the nail fumes. It's, you know, obviously a lot of chemicals in there. And it was making me nauseous. It was re really making me nauseous and then i went to the bathroom because i couldn't do it even when she was doing my nails like i had to stand up and like put my head on my arms like while she was doing my nails because it was uncomfortable i couldn't it was uncomfortable to sit so went to the bathroom did number two and threw up at the same time how you do that i don't know but um yeah it, it, was, it was a little it was wild then my last couple of stories is I was a traveling stylist, hairstylist, and I went to my client's house. It would be fine the morning of, right? And then, you know, noon hits, 4 p.m. may hit, um, and cramps started kicking in. Then I threw up at one of my client's house, but outside in their front yard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other one, I was on their bathroom floors, like two different clients on their bathroom floors, curled up on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then that same client that I threw up at the house in her front yard, I had to go back home to take a nap for about two hours, then come back and finish her hair. So luckily she lived like 10 minutes away, so it wasn't that bad, but I couldn't do it, y'all. Right, so I'm a girl who's in between. Like my situations weren't that bad. It was that bad to me at the time. But two years ago is when I finally started to have better experiences with my period. Like I still get pain but it's not to the extent of what it used to be. So, what y'all all came here for is the tea. So, the tea is fenugreek, okay? Um, I found fenugreek from this creator on YouTube. I'll try and link her somewhere if I find her. I don't know her name. But her personality was so vibrant, she's so cute and stuff like that. And she was explaining like all the benefits for fenugreek for your hair. And then she started leaning into skin. And then I was like, ooh, let me see what fenugreek do. And I think originally I may have, may have purchased it for hair reasons. But it really helped with my period cramps. Like, ugh, y'all. 
won't you do it jesus really heals naturally like so quickly i want to go in and tell you the benefits of fenugreek now for me personally i have experienced period pain has gotten less i haven't thrown up since i've been drinking fenugreek and it's the best thing ever like honestly mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to read off the benefits of fenugreek so that you kind of know like if this applies to you, if you have this in your life, you know, you can do that. But also, don't forget to do further research because if you have like health conditions, fenugreek may not be best for you. Just make sure that your health condition is compatible with drinking fenugreek, if that makes sense, if it, if it works out for you. But if not, do your research and consult your doctor because I'm not one, okay? So... It aids in digestion. Um, it's really good for blood sugar control. And that's really more so like diabetes. Um, it reduces your inflammation. It gives you weight management. It lowers your cholesterol levels. And it's good for your overall heart health. So it has anti-inflammatory properties like it helps alleviate your arthritis or asthma. It says it helps with balancing hormones. Improved skin health. Don't look at mine though. <laughs> and it's good for your hair health. Hair health such as like improving hair loss and really good for your scalp. Antioxidants for the immune system, just, you know, supporting that. And then it's really good for women with breastfeeding, like it aids more breast milk. What you guys are here for, reducing your painful periods, it's really good for that. It helps because I think in a sense it falls in the balance hormones category. So I don't know. Yeah. And it's really good for men's sexual health. It aids in libido. It detoxifies your blood and it's really good for reducing your kidney stones. So there's much more stuff that fenugreek could be good for. Just make sure you do your research and, you know, figure it out for yourself. Um, I did read that it's not good for people with thyroid conditions. So like I said earlier, just make sure you do your research. I'm going to show you how I make the drink at the end of the video. But how to drink it is preferred on an empty stomach. Um, I would say drink between four ounces to like eight or ten ounces a day and when you're starting this off i'd recommend doing four ounces every other day just to get your body used to it also when i do it um i don't do this consistently now let me tell you how janelle do it um when my period's about to start right the week before i start drinking it every day i do four ounces every day in the morning on an empty stomach that is how personally i drink it and i feel like it helps a lot with my period cramps so um the thing about fenugreek water is something that i do want to actually put in my um diet every morning like i actually want to consume this pretty much every day but i would say my ideal way to intake it is every other day um but when my period is coming every day because i don't want them cramps i don't want the throwing up stuff to start happening or nothing so I do that every day before my period starts um and honestly while i'm on my period i kind of give it a break so that way you know over consumption of anything is not that great for you so just kind of like do do everything in moderation so the effects that i have noticed is sometimes i notice the smell of maple syrup some people have experienced that while drinking fenugreek water i know that my auntie when she's around me and i'm drinking fenugreek she's like you smell like maple syrup and I just think it's so funny because I can barely smell it and she like smells it really strong. And it's just funny, like, I don't know. Some people don't notice, some people do. So that's like a smell that like releases from my body, I guess. I don't know. And as far as my scalp, I have really bad scalp conditions. For those of you who follow me on my channel, y'all know like I have really bad dandruff. I've had something similar to cradle crap as a child or as an infant, I mean it's not fun so when i have drink it like consistently because i've done it before i really noticed an, an overall health in my scalp i didn't experience as much itching as much dandruff like everything seemed to be fine like it's not like i didn't have any dandruff but it definitely improved like it wasn't unbearable to where i'm like at my head picking dandruff for two hours because i i do that so yeah <laughs> and also my nails my nails with fenugreek grow so fast like i promise you for me i have to cut my nails almost every other day every other day um if i'm not drinking fenugreek as much every other two to three days is when i have to cut my nails my nails grow so fast and very strong with fenugreek so that's a benefit um it's just annoying to have to keep cutting my nails don't like that but 
you know it's working in some areas so now that i finish you know letting you guys know about all of this i will go ahead and show you how to make it because i actually need to make some for tomorrow because my period's on its way but i already drank it for four days straight but i should be fine but we just gonna keep doing it because we don't want to take no chances so i'm gonna take it to the kitchen and let's make it all right, so you're gonna begin with your fenugreek seeds. These are the ones that I get from Amazon. I have them in my Amazon storefront in the description, or you could check the cards in the top right corner. And then I use a 32 ounce mason jar. This lasts me about four to five days, depending on if I drink it every day, usually like four days, because I drink about eight ounces a day. I, earlier I said four ounces, but I meant eight. So yeah, I drink this first thing I wake up on an empty stomach and I would say probably not drink or eat anything for like 20 to 30 minutes after you consume this. So I also do have another video on my Instagram that I made a while back. Um, I did put lemon in the previous ones um, to make the taste better, but I've actually gone used to the natural fenugreek taste. So it's just your preference. And these are what the seeds look like when they sprouted. They are much bigger and I would suggest not to leave the seeds in for more than two days because they do go bad so make sure you strain those out and make sure you give me a follow on instagram if you found this video helpful make sure you subscribe do all that happen stuff and i hope that you get some healing when it comes to your period pain because y'all know i get it <laughs> forgot to let you know other ways that you can consume fenugreek would be through a tea you can take pills um i did hear through basically research like i think drinking fenugreek water is the best way to get the most out of fenugreek because when you soak the water overnight and 10 hours to me is all that you need um but i leave mine in for no more than two days because fenugreek does go bad very fast um you do want to strain the seeds out at the end of the day but um the seeds sprout so you can see them they're really small at first but they sprout and they get bigger when they're soaked so that's how you know it's definitely releasing their benefits into the water so yeah um i would do that also like other alternatives i hear raspberry leaf tea is good for period cramps um, and other stuff but i found something that works for me and i pray this works for you guys if you're able to take it um it has a lot of great benefits and it'll keep you healthy so just do your best and do all your research and i pray that your period cramps do not bother you no more because girl i get it and i don't want it you don't want it i don't want it let's throw it away okay I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you found some value within it. So if you like me, my personality, and you want to vibe with us, get in the community. Just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. The sun is shining, it's a new day.